chapter 3b number 9. Uh, in this one, we want to try and get parallel lines. And so the ways that we get parallel lines, again, if you show that corresponding angles are congruent, you get parallel. Alternate interior angles that are congruent give you parallel lines. And I'll list them all off quickly here. Same side exterior angles if oh not congruent supplementary you get parallel lines so there are five ways um, so uh, in this one I can't just add them all together uh, what I need is I need to come up with an equation that involves just x's or just just y's really so if I look here. This one, this angle up here, and this angle up here, just x's. And so if I trace out the lines that form them, here's one of them, here's one of them, and here's one of them. And so if I move these over to the side, right, this was the x squared plus 5x, and this was the 5x squared plus x. And if you look at them, they're same side interior angles. So if same side interior angles are supplementary, that makes these lines parallel. So I want to make them supplementary. x squared plus 5x plus 5x squared plus x should equal 180. OK, so that's using this reason. OK, so if I simplify this, I get 6x squared, because I have 1 here and 5 more. And then I have 6x's, because I got 5 here and 1 more, equals 180. And you'll notice there's an x squared and x in units, so we can use quadratics, uh, either factoring or the formula to solve this. So I got to make it equal to zero first. Oops. And then some people try to factor this. What I would probably do is everything's divisible by six, so I'm going to divide both sides by six. And if I do that, I get x squared plus x minus 30 equals zero. Now this one, I think, is, is easier to factor. So if you're good at factoring, uh, this turns into an x and an x. I need two numbers that multiply to negative 30, but add to 1. And so those two numbers are going to be positive 6 and negative 5. And if you're not comfortable using the factoring, you can always use quadratic formula, where a is 1, b is 1, and c is negative 30. And so then you're going to plug that into negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And those will give you your x's. And you should get the same x's. Now if you did the factoring method, you're going to get either x plus 6 is 0, x minus 5 is 0, or both are 0. So in this case, x ends up being negative 6. In this case, x equals 5. So you get two answers here. Okay. So let's see what happens if x is, is 5. Let's go with this one first. OK, so if x is 5, right, then I'm going to plug in 5 here, and I get 5 squared plus 25. So that's going to be 50 degrees. So this angle up here is 50 degrees. OK, now I need to figure out what y is somehow. Well, if I look at these two angles here that are formed, the 50 and the 2y minus 5, I want the top and bottom to be parallel. So if, these, if I want these to be parallel, then I need this angle and this angle to add up to 180 because they're also same side interior angles. So this needs to be 130, but it's also the 2y minus 5. So if x is 5, I'm going to get 130 or actually, let's do this. Let's say the 50 here plus the 2y minus 5 should end up being 180. OK, so then I get 2y minus 5 is going to be 130. You can do it this way if you prefer. So 2y is going to be 135. So y is going to be 67.5. So that's one answer. OK, we also have a different, a different x here if x is negative 6. So if x is negative 6, this angle up here is negative 6 squared plus 5 times negative 6. 
which comes out to be 36 minus 30, so 6. So this angle up here would only be 6 degrees then. And again, this is 2y minus 5. So if I take this and I move it to the side, the 6 and the 2y minus 5 are same side interior angles, so they should be supplementary. So if x was negative 6, then I need that 6 plus the 2y minus 5 should be supplementary. They should add up to 180. So I'm going to get uh, 1 plus 2y equals 180. So 2y is going to be 179. And so y is going to end up being 89.5. OK, so you get two sets of answers. When x is negative 6, you get 89.5, and when x is 5, you get 67.5.